So this is I don't. Hello everybody, welcome to Memories. Hello everyone. With John, we got John here. How's it going? Oh. My name's Bob. You all know me, right? Uh, so we'll, tonight we're going to be talking about Nintendo memories. We're going to be talking about John's first Nintendo memories. So John, Indeed. if you wouldn't mind. Please. Wait, uh, the first thing, the game we're going to play is Spy Hunter. The first time I played Oh, I'm sorry. The first time I played this was in 1986. We hear you fine, John. We hear um, you fine, John. You hear me fine, okay. Just talk naturally, John. I am I am, I am talking naturally, dog. <laughs> um, it was 1986, and uh, my parents um, brought Super Mario Brothers and Spy Hunter home. I was a bit afraid to play Mario. I was a toddler at the time. I didn't want to embarrass myself, but Spy Hunter was a fun game that I played for hours and hours. I never knew what the point of the game was. I, I think it just... Bob, I, I think Spy Hunter just goes on forever, right? It's one of the arcade classics, sir. Yeah, so it's score-based. Score, -based. score sure. yeah, skill. How? Skill and score. So, if I remember correctly you, there, sir. Do you have any idea what your highest score would be? And, and I know that, like, right now, so there's you see this timer... On the lower right hand area of the screen, and like it's yes. at 663 now, and I think yeah. like yeah, I could get an extra life if I get to the next level. I guess cross the bridges before that runs out. Mm -hmm. Thing is, when you're going fast, you can crash into one of those motorcycles or one of those cars, just like I almost did. And yeah, there you go. So I think I'm gonna make it now. So I should get a little guy. And just to know, we yeah. don't have the audio on for us. That you, the viewer, can hear it, but. A little yeah. handicap for John. Exactly. Okay. Now a little oil ooh. slick in the road. Now here comes some smoke. Getting the smoke. Now, now it gets exciting. Fight back against the baddies. You still there got it is. The, There's still the got the skills after all these years. Smoke is good. You have three units of smoke. Three units you of could smoke. Run, you could run out of it. So I, I just used one. So now I only have one. You know, I, I think I have a tendency to like try to stockpile them from later. I think it's better uh -huh. just to like use it. But you gotta watch. You know, you need missiles to take out this <laughs> helicopter. And, yeah, yeah. You seems like and they have like a, a predictable cadence to it. Yeah. Like, John, you were earlier. You were talking about um, Nintendo's have being infused in your childhood memories, uh, supplying yeah. a soundtrack to life. He called it. He actually talked about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not the arcade game. And the, uh, the the overworld map, yeah. yeah, the overworld map, the, yeah. the, the the that that beat, man. Yeah, I think I I, I transitioned to it automatically. Now it's like I haven't played that game in you know really twenty years, but mm -hmm. I. Uh... So yeah, you were saying though, like you were up in Portland and you were walking around, and you had that that song going through your mind, and so his childhood Ooh. could never leave. No, it did. It's weird. It, you know, it's weird. Like. I'm remembering the, these memories are so vivid to me, like, while I'm playing this game. Like, mm -hmm. so much stuff is coming back to me. I, uh... <laughs> I, when I'm wondering when I'm an old man if it'll have the same effect. Like, if those neurons, like, yeah. if I'll be able to, like, almost, like, re-experience part of my childhood even when I'm 90 just by playing Spy Hunter or mm -hmm. checking this video log out. And... Yeah, yeah. kind of like uh, uh, smelling something for the first time since uh, you first experienced it. And, you know, it might have been, like, you know, 15 years previously, yeah. but it always kind of brings that moment it right does. back. It can bring it back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, sometimes it's... They're throwing dynamite, dynamite at you. They're not, not uh, friendly. This kind of reminds me of Magnum P.I. for some reason. This game? Oh, yeah. This, yeah. this seems like what Tom Selleck would be doing in Magnum P.I. Driving his... Uh, what, what kind of car did he have? Like a Lamborghini or... Yeah. yeah like some type like, of... He had some type of sports car. I remember that. Like Corvette or something. It, it's, the, game's addi the gameplay itself is addictive. Because, like, I mean, you could mm -hmm. just imagine this that being like a little rectangle. Like, it's not... Like, it's almost like a variation of Pong in a way. Yeah. You know? And it's... You know, the scenery changes and it's kind of nice. It's right now you're in the desert and, you know, alternates and, mm -hmm. you know... But, uh... I mean, it's addicting. You know, you kind of get invested in it. It's like it's a little bit more difficult as progress here for sure for sure well everybody that's been memories with john uh we're gonna come back with more more of these awesome stories for you um After the break. hopefully without distractions in the background we got people walking through the background sorry yes. about that well, you know we're you coming see, back we're coming back only, and we got to talk about with, with some barn burning <laughs> stories some black glass breaking stories we're doing it all yeah absolutely we're doing it for you we'll see you soon everybody remember thumbs up